Hey, this is Karma Lichty with WordPress for Creatives. In this video, we're going to look at the Page Builder plugin for WordPress. I love this plugin. It gives me a lot more flexibility in the layout of my pages. I also like this plugin compared to some other options that are similar to this. This plugin gives us drag and drop options for setting up our pages. And the reason I like this one over some of its competitors is that it won't lose your content. If I was ever to disable this plugin, it would put the content into just the normal visual editor. So I'm not going to lose content if I ever decide not to use this plugin. What I want to do in this video is to show you a quick demo on how to use this plugin. What we see right now is, is, a, is a page that I built using this plugin. Notice I have different sections on my page to glance at this page on the site itself. I have the slider on top. I have four columns right below that with a map down below followed by the footer. Now if we glance at this layout and compare it quickly to this page setup, you'll notice the, the, uh, the slider across the top with the four columns and then the, and then the, uh, the map below that. So that's just a quick example of what this, this plugin lets me do. Now I'm going to go into how this page was created. Before I do that, this is a freebie plugin available on the WordPress.org site called Page Builder by Site Origin. They also have a great site of their own. They're very responsive, responsive to as far as questions. They have a great document on how to use this plugin. So I've installed this plugin on this site. You'll notice right here. As far as the settings of the plugin, in fact, I hadn't gone through the settings of this plugin until I was doing this, this video. Um, you can set where you want to use this page builder option. It defaults to just the pages and posts. Some settings for widgets, some layout options, Make sure you probably do want to make sure this is turned on. By default, it is turned on to, to enable responsive layout. And by default, this is also turned on, which it copies the content from the page builder to the to the post content. So go with the default settings, this should be good to go. Now to actually use this plugin. I've created or started a new page here inside WordPress. You'll notice right away there are now three tabs when you go to ed add or edit the page. One of those is Page Builder. I'm going to click on that tab. So, you can, so notice here you can, get, you can go back and forth between Page Builder and just a normal editor. How, the way to use Page Builder is you actually create rows and then within that rows you can define how many columns you want and within each of those columns you add widgets. So widgets is like the foundation that Page Builder builds on. We're going to start with a row which will give us the option of how many columns went in this row. It's very easy to add columns, take away columns. You can also specify if you have multiple columns, how you want those columns divided out across the width of the page via these various options. Or you can simply click and drag to specify your column width. Very, very easy, very, very friendly. It really can't be beat. And then you simply say insert and it places those four columns within your page builder layout. And then within these columns you specify what content you want inside. I'm going to leave this first column blank so I would just be like offsetting my content a bit so it's inside a bit from the edge of the page. And then within, within each of these columns you click on it to highlight it then you click on add widget. That opens up a window of lists all the widgets that come with WordPress, widgets that are installed with the site origin who made this plugin, and any theme widgets that, that you might have available as well. You can simply click and drag these different options in there. So for just a, a quick example, let's say I'm going to add the visual editor in that one. In this one I'll add a widget to, I'll just do a social media widget. Then you can edit these widgets to bring in the content you want or to format the content or to specify the content you want. So in this particular one I'll bring in an image. And 
and I'm just going to go ahead and grab just grab some information really quick for demo purposes. This is actually, this is a widget, but this was a plugin that provided this widget. So I'm just going to put in some bogus information here so we have the, uh, the icon show up. Then I could add some more rows. And just say in this row, I just wanted one column that goes all the way across. Whoops. And I'm going to add one more row that maybe just has two even columns. And again, with each of these columns, I could add more widgets. You can certainly delete widgets after the fact or duplicate widgets. You can also edit rows if I want to change. For example, I've had on this bottom one, I have one column across the entire row. Just click on edit. You can change a number of columns in that row. You can also duplicate a row. I'm going to change this back to one column just to give us some, vari some variety. You can also move rows above or below other rows. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in laying out a page. Let's go to a page that I already completed. This is the page that we first saw. I simply added three rows, specified the number of columns I wanted in each row, then added the content via using widgets. And that gives us this page where this is our first row, which is a slider all the way across the top. Here's our four columns. These are actually, I use the visual editor widget to place an image followed by text below each of the columns. Then I added a Google map at the bottom, followed by the normal footer. So that's the, a quick preview of how to use the page builder plugin with WordPress.